What's up guys, it's the Sim with Vengeance and I am back here with another NCAAB Blazers Dynasty and it's finally time for week one. Today, your UAB Blazers are going to start off their season at Scott Stadium taking on the University of Virginia, the Cavaliers. And if you guys are excited, make sure you guys drop that like, subscribe button right next to my name and you guys can see more of these videos in the future. The future! Ooh. But anyway... Um, enough of me being stupid and goofy. Um, I am not going to be having a video up tomorrow, uh, because tomorrow is my birthday. And I'm going to celebrate my birthday with a little bit of relaxation. Um, if you guys don't know, I am going to be 25 years old. Um, I, yeah, I'm old, I know. And you guys don't even think, like, oh my god, you're 25? Yeah, hard to believe, right? I don't even believe it. But, you guys probably think by the, the, the sound of my voice, and I know you guys have seen my face every now and then, you probably think I'm like... 19 or something, but no, I'm I'm old. I'm halfway through my 20s, but uh Anyway, there won't be a video tomorrow. Um, I'm gonna try and do a uh, Chicago Cubs live stream tomorrow night on twitch.tv slash sin with vengeance uh, We're gonna do the offseason because we didn't win the World Series in that uh, Franchise unfortunately, we're gonna try again next year, but I will make an announcement video that day So be on the lookout for that as well. So you guys don't miss it um, but um it also marks the four-year anniversary on my YouTube channel. I know I'm kind of like doing a little like talk before the game, which I usually don't do, but it is it is that time of year. Like today or tomorrow also marks the four-year anniversary of my YouTube channel, this channel specifically. So four years ago, some guy with like who was bored out of his mind thought, okay, this would be fun, and look what I'm doing right now. <laughs> it, it's been a, ma a magnificent four years on YouTube, guys. You guys have been amazing, and. Uh, I wouldn't trade it in for anything in the world. So, thank you guys so much, and uh, I, I can't wait to look forward into the future and uh, keep on making videos for you guys. Uh, but, but enough of talk about me and all this stuff. We're gonna do some recruiting. Obviously, we are gonna try and focus on defense again this year. Look at uh, Devon Ruffin, uh, 75 overall. We're gonna get after him big time, and uh, we're gonna see what we can get out of him. As uh, far as Joe Winston, you guys said to go after him as well, so we're gonna go after him. And then you guys also said to start Mullins at middle linebacker. Um, I did not do that for this week. Uh, I completely forgot about that when I was doing this. And um, unfortunately, he is not going to be starting week one. We will start him in week two against number one Alabama, though. And uh, one thing I also do have to say. I am going to freaking like lose my mind if I start off 0-4 out of conference play. Before we get into conference play, I'm going to lose it if we start 0-4. Because this, this out of conference schedule, man, it is hard. And uh, number one Alabama is no joke. We got number five Washington too, and uh, we do have Virginia, which you're taking care of today. But I don't, I forgot the other team in the in the out of conference schedule. But I'll take a look at that. But our conference schedule should be looking better. Uh, we're gonna try and uh, come out with a few solid wins in there as well, and hopefully, hopefully, just hopefully, we can get ourselves a bowl berth. That is our goal this year to win seven games and clinch a bowl berth. And if we don't do that this year, I don't know what to say. Uh, because last year we had a chance to do that. We just failed in a lot of opportunities. But anyway, uh, we're going to go now to the conference outlook. As we're going to look at where they're projecting us to finish in the conference. In the USA East, they have us finishing fifth. Uh, which is okay because we finished, I think, fourth or fifth last year. We still won six games. Uh, but you see uh, the conference USA West. And that's about the same there. But we're going to get into this game against the University of Virginia, the Cavaliers. I hope you guys do enjoy this content. Make sure you guys drop a like. As you see, Kirk Herbstreit has us winning this game for some reason. But drop a like. And if you're new, subscribe. And I will see you guys in the game against the University of Virginia. Hi everybody, Reese Davis with you, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan, innovation that excites. There has long been a certain sense of sophistication when you go to Scott Stadium in Charlottesville, but we will dispense with formality today in favor of pure brutality. Kickoff just about set to go from Scott Stadium. That does it for us here on the NCAA College Football pregame show. Enjoy the game. We'll see you at the half.
here at Scott Stadium as the University of Virginia Cavaliers are hosting the University of Alabama Birmingham Blazers and we are going to start off our season hopefully starting off 1-0 but we'll see how that goes. Uh, we are trying to find our identity once again because remember last year if you guys have watched this dynasty from uh, the first game against Iowa State uh, we have a lot of trouble establishing the run and we've been past dominant throughout an enti this entire dynasty. And we're trying to change that complexion. We're trying to balance out the offense a little bit more. Um, we have a new quarterback at the helm, Chris Jones, sophomore quarterback. And uh, we're gonna see what he could do here for us this year. As, uh, you know, Virginia, of course, is no joke. They are, well, not, I wouldn't say they're a joke, but they have a new head coach this year in the dynasty. And uh, he's pretty good, according to his little ratings or whatever, uh, but, uh, they are a B plus team. Uh, they're obviously way better than us according to overall. But they finished four and eight last year. We finished six and six. So by record, I, by record we're better. Uh, but by overall, um, you know, skill level, I, they are better. So I guess that just proves that scheduling is a thing. So here on the third down and ten, we have Chris Jones looking over the middle to Warren. He catches the ball, but it's not enough for the first. And uh, and also another thing um, on defense. I would say this. I know it's a little bit of spoilers, and you guys don't like spoilers, but the defense has improved, I would say. Except for when I say that right here, we gave up a 36-yard pass. But we haven't given up a touchdown yet in the first quarter, which is actually kind of surprising. Um, usually we give up, like, two touchdowns by this point. Um, but as you can already tell, the defense has done some major improvements, uh, especially on the defensive line. Maybe not so much in the secondary as you see right here. Reed has plenty of time to throw over to Kemp, and he uh, gets the first down for another pickup of 30. But uh, the secondary has still a little bit of work to do. The D-line has improved dramatically, and we have gotten to the quarterback a few times in this game already. So that's already a good thing. But you see right there, uh, poor tackling is still a thing on the defense. As you see, Sean Reed gets in the end zone for the touchdown. It's now 7 0 Virginia. But anyway, uh, the defense has improved. Maybe not dramatically, but it will take improvement because it just shows that we're growing as a defense and uh, we can probably get some good defensive recruits in the future. But we'll see how that goes. Um, right now, though, we're going to try and just focus on getting better, uh, take it one year at a time. As you see right there, Martin comes up with the interception as. Uh, that was just a terrible throw uh, through that the double coverage and uh, it looked like Lee Williams didn't really have a chance to get that ball so we're just gonna have to play some defense here on a third down and one here we're gonna try and make a stop here and they're gonna try and do an option play but it's not working as Sean Reed gets stopped by the defensive line the defensive line is the one that has actually made the most improvement and I am really excited to see what the defensive line can do this year uh, we have made a few stops already we haven't given up like too many big plays uh, so it's only 10 nothing. Usually at this point, we're giving up 21. Um, so defense has been improving. I guess you can say that much. I like it too. So you see right here, we do get the completion there to Lee Williams in a tight window. We get a pickup of 33 on the play and a first down, obviously. It's so later on, second down and 10. Here is Chris Jones stepping back, looking over the middle. It's caught by Brown, and he gets that first down down to the 22-yard line, 21. Uh, but either way, we're nearing the red zone, and we could possibly get a touchdown on this drive. But later on, it's first down and 10. Very next play. Looking over to the right side, it's Urban. Gets down and take it down at the 6.5. Pick up a 15 yards and another UAB first down. Uh, but later on in the drive, it is third down and goal. We're going to try and get in the end zone here. But we throw it, and it's a drop pass. We probably wouldn't have gotten in the end zone anyway. Uh, but any we're just going to have to settle for a field goal, basically, is what I'm trying to say. Uh, but we do get on the board here. It's 10-3, and uh, we're nearing halftime. We're halfway through the second quarter, and it, it's still a, it's still a game. I would say it's still a game. It's not completely out of reach yet. Uh, but Virginia has played better football than us so far, and we need to we need to change that here. We see right here, Barnett does miss the interception, but it's caught by Marcus Meyer for a pickup of 13. And uh, Sean Reed is now perfect so far in the game. 
So we need to change that. We need to get in his face a little bit more. We need to have him throw into some mistakes. So you see right here, he's throwing it deep, and it's dropped. As you see, he has now 8 for 10 for 131. But it's still a big struggle on defense so far uh, as far as um, the secondary goes. We've been able to stop the run, um, but we haven't been able to uh, stop the pass. And actually, what my biggest improvement on defense so far, I do believe, is the uh, run defense, which is actually really good because... Last year, oh my god, my run defense was horrendous. So you see Ray Reed looking underneath. It's caught, but not enough for the first as Kempelin gets a couple of yards on that play. And we're going to try and tie this game up before, before halftime. We have a couple. We have one timeout to play with here with 25 ticks left. Here's Jones throwing it, but it's picked off by Avery. And that is pretty much going to set them up for very good field position here with 18 or Actually, about 16 seconds to go here. Make it 17. I, I don't know how to count time. Sorry. But anyway... They are um, here in scoring position here with 12 seconds to go. First and goal here for Virginia. Reed steps back, looks, has time, steps to the left. Caught, touchdown by Mike Swain. It's now 17-3 to as we go into halftime. We are not looking very good so far as uh, it, it's just been a struggle so far. So we need to step up on defense big time. And it starts, it starts in the secondary. But look at that right there. Barnett comes up with the pick. And can he take it to the house? No, he can't. He gets tripped up after picking up a couple of yards after the interception. But later on, it's third down and seven. Jones looks, throws, and it's going to be almost intercepted. So 10 of 25 for Chris Jones. Two interceptions. Not really having the strongest uh, season debut for him. But uh, I don't. I really don't want to start Cutler. I really don't. It's like the last thing I want to do. But anyway, we're going to keep sticking it with Chris Jones. But you see Reed right here has a lot of good blocking in front of him. As there's probably going to be a one guy, two guy to catch him. As you see, uh, Sean Reed picks up a gain of 72 on that play. So that is, that's bad. That's very bad. And we need to change that real quick. So you see first and goal. Read option once again, and they get in in the end zone for the touchdown, making it 24 to three. So now it's a 21 point game here with halfway through the third quarter. We had one of the highest scoring offenses last year, and now it's looking like we are one of the lowest scoring offenses, just like that, because we can't get anything going. And uh, basically, what I'm trying to say is this offense sucks uh, because we don't have Jason Johnson. And Jason Johnson, believe it or not, I believe Jason Johnson was the man. I love Jason Johnson. If he was a freshman and he was doing that kind of work, I would be loving to see what kind of work he would be doing for us in the future. But obviously, we don't have that privilege or that opportunity, so we're just going to have to move on. But Zach Warren, pick up 16 yards, and another UAB first down. Later on, a second down and eight. Screen pass here to Keith Brown. He gets some room to run, gets the first down, and a little bit more down to the 30, down to the 27-yard line. And that's a very good pickup right there. Very good pickup. That's just going to put us up into a very good scoring position here on second and goal. Here's Jones looking. Or, or yeah, because Jones is the Jones, believe it or not. So we got Zach Jones getting the pass from Chris Jones, and it's now 24 to 10. So we're getting – we're not we're not giving up. But you see – oh, here's Barnett again. Barnett with the interception once again, and he's gone. Touchdown, UAB. And it's a football game once again, guys, as Barnett gets in the end zone for another interception and a touchdown pick six. It's now 24-17 here to start the fourth. Here is second and nine. Reed looking. It's caught by Swain. Gets the first down. Pickup of 19 on the play. And another UA or Virginia first down. I was about to say UAB. It's Virginia first down. So it's, um, Reed is doing pretty good today outside those two interceptions. This team is in a position to win. And you see Meyer right here getting that catch down inside the 10, down to the seven-yard line. Pickup of 29 on the play. And the defense has just been bad in the secondary. We have gotten to the quarterback a couple of times. Uh, with the defensive line, but you see right there, Titus Weddle gets a pick up of four yards, and it's not enough to get in the end zone right there. So they're going to have to up settling for a field goal right here to try and make it 27 to 17. And you see the kick is up, and it's good. So now it's 27 17, 10 point game. Uh, it's not out of reach yet, but it's not looking good for us. And you see right here, we get it off to Doug Nash for a pickup of 17. Doug Nash, I like that guy. He's pretty good. I like him. So later on is Jones. Looking, Nash, touchdown, 24 to 27. We're getting, in, we're inching closer. As you see, Chris Jones has really picked it up after since that 10 to 20, 10 for 25 start. He has been phenomenal since. So you see, intercepted by Harris on the screen pass, and that's a pick six, and we take the lead. Oh my goodness, ladies and gentlemen, what has gone on here in the second half? 
We were down 24 to 3. We, we, we were down 24 to 3. It's not a four point lead for UAB. As we get the sack, and it's fourth and 17. We have a chance to close this game out with a touchdown here. Third down and 11. Jones looks, scrambling for his life, getting chased down by th three defenders, and he gets pushed out of bounds for a pickup of nine yards. And we are going to miss the field goal right there. So it's now still 31 27. Caught by Kemp out of bounds with just under two to go. Virginia's got a chance to score here to retake the lead, and we don't want that to happen now, do we? We really don't. We, we worked so hard to come back and to have us possibly lose the game here. That would suck. So the defense has to bring Miller, and he gets a good pickup right there of about 24 yards and another Virginia first. So now later on, it's second down and nine. 106 remaining in the game. Here is a hand. Oh, nope, read option by Reed, and look at the blocking. And look at the poor tackling. So that's a touchdown for Virginia, making it 34-31. As, man, that, that's just a defensive meltdown, basically. So third down and two. Here's a... Oh, it's intercepted. And that's pretty much going to wrap this one up. Unfortunately, UAB does not come out with the win today, guys. Um, so next week, we take on number one Alabama. So pretty much look forward to an 0-1-2 start. Uh, but you see Sean Reed, player of the game, 21 of 38 for 298, four total spectacular game. Uh, but what do you guys think is our best improvement so far this year? I know it's only one game, but what do you think is our biggest improvement, and what do you think we regressed on? Let me know in the comment section below, and I will uh, try and adjust accordingly, of course. But thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you guys, of course, liked it, then drop a like. And uh, if you're new, why not subscribe? There's going to be more videos on the future. Of course, not tomorrow. Of course, I said in the beginning of the video. Tomorrow's my birthday. I'm going to go celebrate it. And uh, I will uh, thank you guys for if you guys are leaving birthday. But until next time, my name is Tim with Vengeance. You guys have been amazing as always. You guys are always amazing. What am I talking about? But until then, I'm out. Peace.